In the hands of a talented artist, watercolors can create some of the most beautiful paintings imaginable. Recently, Ken Wilshire went to McKinsey and met a retired teacher who's a watercolorist, and her paintings tell fascinating stories with brushes and paint. These beautiful watercolors are not only pleasing to the eye, they're also a wonderful collection of painted essays about life. As portraits, still life, and abstracts, they make statements in light, contrast, texture, and style. They are wonderful examples of an experienced watercolorist. They're the expressions of Tuba Stevens and each one has a story to tell. You might call her a journalist who uses a brush instead of a pen. Sometimes you have to talk to people to really feel when you're painting, but sometimes in the two of the paintings called uh, Working Man 1 and 2, where I told him later that when I looked at him, the wrinkles in his face, I knew behind every wrinkle was a story. Yet, we never spoke a word except for me to say, may I take your picture, I'm an artist. And it turned out beautifully, and so I went back later as I was passing where he was working, I stopped to show him the blue ribbon that was on the painting. And he was, uh, he didn't cry like I do, but his, uh, his he called her his old lady. She, she came out and she cried when she saw it, and to me, that is just awesome, you know, that you can evoke some emotion and if you put it into the painting, it seems like you can get it back. I think every artist pretty much uses their life experiences to help them, well, they just are attracted to things that they know, just like a writer. With every intricate brushstroke, Tuva has given life to this incredibly detailed watercolor. If you look closely and take a deep breath, you can almost smell the swirling smoke, hear his grandfatherly voice, and feel the warm light glistening on his Santa-like whiskers as he shares his story with Tuva. Sometimes your subjects are right under you because this is one of my neighbors, and uh, his name is Bill, and I said, hey Bill, can I take your picture? And he combed his beard and sat back down and the most wonderful light. I mean, it kind of reminds me of a Rembrandt. And then there's the sheepish young man with his brother and a Cracker Jacks box. You're simply compelled to ask, what's the story here? Well, this one has to do with uh, bringing back memories. I love the look of it being so stiff and so tense because you know there's a ball of energy about to break loose at any point, as you can see in the central area there where the hands are. It's just a wonderful family photograph that I brought back to life. Bees and hummingbirds might be lured into this exquisitely colorful, deceivingly realistic purple iris. The beautiful Tennessee state flower is just waiting to tell us more. You know, when I see a beautiful flower, I try to capture the light and the texture and the color and the, and the beauty of that. And uh, there's always a sense of movement and it can be very dramatic. You know, you're kind of like holding that bloom forever. Not only do shades of blue capture this fellow singing the blues, the painting is the answer to a storyteller's question. When I asked him what his name was, he said, they call me Mr. Blues. Sometimes the title of a work comes before you even have the painting completed, and that was in this case, and it's one of my favorite paintings. Her paintings seem to evoke emotions that flow like watercolors on wet paper. And when her loaded brush makes a stroke, the paints are transformed into words of art that express personal experiences. 
She uses a glossary of techniques to describe her subjects and punctuates with passion. You know, if you can just communicate with a still image, that's what visual art is all about. 